it's Faye Johnston here and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the ceremony that I've recently done in my garden for to honour the fruit trees that I have planted okay so this is going to give you some basics in plant ceremony and you know how to welcome plants into your garden because it's the spring and you know we're, we're planting up things and we're also going to be removing things. I'm the author of Plants That Speak, Souls That Sing, Transform Your Life with the Spirit of Plants and Plant Spirit Reiki energy healing with the elements of nature. I have been teaching Reiki for 10 years and practicing for over 20 and I also teach shamanism and plant medicine. Those are my passions. So um, you'll find free samples of my book in the links below and please like and subscribe to the channel, like this video and you know throw a comment below, let me know um, what you'd like to hear about and if this is helpful for, for you because this helps more people get to see the video. This is what I'm going to cover. So basically, firstly, let's put this into context. Whenever we do a piece of work, whether it's a healing, whether it's ceremony, whether it's our own personal shamanic journey or connecting with a plant, it's all really in context, okay, um, with whatever else is going on in our lives and the challenges we're facing and everything, you know, because we're, we're part of this web, we're, we're all interconnected. So to give you an example of how this ceremony was in context for me, there were three things on my mind this week, or specifically. Um, the first was, you know, I planted these trees at the weekend and I was really, it was really on my mind that I wanted to honour them. You know, I didn't get the chance to do it as we were planting because we were planting so many. Uh, and so I kind of had it at the back of my mind, I really want to do this, I want to do this properly, it's really important. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing was a... Um, a healing with one of my clients that I knew was going to be big, I knew it was going to be huge, I had a sense of it and so that was kind of on my mind, so that was all interconnected and you know they, they will all be healing and supporting each other, all of these things. And the third thing was the um, Plant Spirit Shamanism workshop that I did on Wednesday night with the Centre for Shamanism which I know some of you came to, which was pretty epic, there was a lot of space to hold there and a lot of plants involved. So. All of this kind of work was the context of where I was holding everything this week. So whenever you do a piece of work, just bear that in mind. And obviously we call, always call in the, your plant helpers and spirit guides to help you hold that space. So that was kind of, the, you know, the context piece. And then the second, so the, the second thing really is just to remind you that when we do ceremony, it doesn't always have to be this amazing, you know, all day affair with song and dance and you know music and friends and craziness and you know something that you've prepared for months for you know it can be you know ceremony is really fun and it can be epic sometimes but also sort of simple everyday practices making the everyday a ceremony uh, helps you to kind of basically to connect with the practices of ceremony and ritual more if you kind of don't make such a big deal out of it if you kind of make it part of your life so that's really important to um, not be put off by thinking oh I, I haven't got I can't do a ceremony I haven't got all my stuff together you know the, you know you don't need a lot of things uh, for ceremony what you need is you you know you number one you know your intention that is the most important thing so so yeah I just thought to myself okay I've got some time I'm gonna do this so the first thing I do is I come to the sacred space in my garden I didn't go directly to the plant the, the fruit trees like I said there were hmm there were five six seven of them that we planted um, along with many other things at the weekend so I didn't go straight to them I went straight to where I am now which is this grove of eucalyptus trees if you've seen any videos for, of me before you've probably seen me working out here in my garden it's a space that I use a lot for healing for sacred space and ceremony and opening space to kind of hold me and I come here for guidance so I brought kind of all my stuff out here and set myself up here to really kind of anchor in and get myself held so at first so that's another thing for you if you have an outdoor space if you're able to um, create a sacred space in your garden or outdoor space I highly recommend it because the more we connect in sacred space, or maybe a place in your home, obviously, but garden is great if you're connecting with plants. The more we kind of create sacred space and honor and create prayer and ceremony and, you know, 
treat them as sacred places, the more they bless us in return and can hold us. So I've been working in this space probably for a little over a year and you can really feel it now. It feels different to other parts in the garden. It's got that, it's got a special vibration to it because of the work and the spirit that comes through it when I open space. So here I am and I open my space here uh, and calling in my spirit guides and so on. And if you work in shamanic work, you'll, you'll have your way that you work to open the space and invite in uh, the helping spirits so that they can support you and guide you through the work. And it's a way to honor all the nature beings and the plant beings here in the garden. And I always set my intention here, set my intention about what, you know, what I'm doing here, what I'm looking for, what I'm open for, okay, um, and what I'm seeking. Um, and then one of the pieces I do is I love candles. You'll know if you've um, done any workshops with me that I love a bit of candle magic. Um, obviously, whenever I do a ceremony or sacred work, I like to light a candle as that's a signifying of connecting to the sacred element of fire uh, and passion and, and that creative force from the self. Um, so I work with candles. Um, and in this instance, I had three candles. Um, they were white, pink and red uh, because I do like to choose a sort of different colour of candle depending on what I'm calling forward. And you might think, well, you know, this is about apple trees. Why weren't, why weren't your candles green? Um, but I, I, it just, I, I just kind of opened my drawer of candles and thought, ah, these ones seem like the ones which are calling to me. Um, and that's why I went with them, okay? And I was honouring a different candle for a different element. So one was to honour the garden space itself for holding me and also and also really to represent the dream that planting these trees was part of. Okay, so um, yeah, again, this ceremony, it's, it's, you know, it was something so much more than simply, oh yeah, I just planted some fruit trees. You know, there's all these things attached to it. There's all there's communities of people attached. There's thought forms and hopes and dreams and desires all attached with this what seems like you know from the outside a very simple act of you know oh you're just planting some trees yeah whatever um so intentionally um i've created my space i've um i've i've opened i've opened it up to the spirits of the land and my guides and so on and then i basically picked up my drum and i just started to connect to um the drum drum to the garden sing to the land um, allowing myself to, um, if you like, allowing the spirit of the land to speak through me. Um, and so, uh, I, again, I would drum for however I felt, however long I felt, and I um, was singing, because that's the, one of the ways I like to connect with the plants, and, allow, and I like to allow their medicine to move through me. So I was just taking a walk here because I wanted to show you kind of the piece that I did next. And then I thought, you know what, I need to connect with these apple trees. These, So I planted three apples, two pears, a Meribel and a Gage. So pretty awesome, pretty exciting for me to bring these fruit trees into my garden. But if you, as you know, if you are a gardener, you know, we, we don't just start off with these pristine beds, do we? We have to do a lot of preparation in the ground before we plant things. And often this means that we have to weed, we have to dig out, we have to divide, and we have to move certain plants. So there were several plants that were involved in this kind of transition, if you like. And so again, they were involved in this ceremony, this honoring, this thanking them for, um, you know, thanking them for being in the garden, thanking them for um, allowing themselves to be moved and being part of this. And so what I was doing really is I was talking to the plants and I was actually explaining to them what was happening rather than just going in there with the shovel and getting on with it. So, um, so that's what I do every time I weed or prune or um, have to divide plants and so on. So yeah, there were some really big roots and stuff that had to be moved. Um, and then, you know, what I did is I came up to each of the trees and I'm, I've got, I'm going, I'm going to show you one now. They're really tiny, but I'm going to show you one of the trees here. So look, you can, you can, it's very hard to see them actually because it's, um, against such a, it's so, it's so bare at the moment, but there was one and you can barely see that other one just in front of the beehive there. And anyway, so what I was doing when I'm with these trees is I was, I had my rattle. I didn't have my drum. It didn't feel right to have the drum. I had my rattle. 
and I sang to each of the trees individually. I sat, um, I stood in front of each of them, welcoming them into the garden, um, sharing my vision, really just sharing from my heart. So sometimes I wasn't necessarily speaking. Um, I was just more of a question of being with the plant and attuning to its vibration and getting it attuned to me and introducing myself and, you know, where we are, this land, you know, because these plants, you know, they came from up the road. They haven't been living here. They haven't been in this in this area. And so that's what I was doing. And for each of them, I offered a um, some rose petals that I had, um, a sprinkling of rose petals really to sort of just to just to welcome them and to signify my love and you know everything that really they they are being part of as part of work being in this garden and these plants here I'm just going to show you I'm going to click that round these plants here you can see that one there and this one here they had to be moved and this one here in front of us oh my god its roots were just ginormous and it was really hefty to pick out but we did so and again I each of these I stood by individually and you can actually see some of the rose petals that are on the ground here and each of these I, individually I was thanking them for for their help in welcoming these plants to the garden so that's two of the apple trees and I went round um Oh, I've missed out one of them, but there's three back there. Um, and that's two. And then I just basically continued this practice all the way around the garden, um, including the other, the other four trees, basically. And then when I finished, uh, I went back to the sacred space where I started and closed the space and said thank you. Um, because obviously the intention is that... that you know, this ceremony, this welcoming, this, this energy of love and appreciation isn't just for this brief moment that I'm here um, offering them rose petals and welcoming to the garden and singing to them and rattling, you know. It's, that's not, um, it's not just for that, it's really for their lifetime, for their, for their kind of, their journey with me and this garden and everybody here together. So anyway, that's a brief... And then I shut down the space and, you know, uh, bring all my things in and clear the space, clear myself, uh, make sure I'm grounded. And But before I tend to do that, before I disconnect, I usually sit in silence just to tune in and see and feel if there's actually anything else that needs to happen. So that's kind of what I do. And, you know, we're always asking that question, what is it that I can do for you? What else needs to happen? what can I help you with you know what do you need that's what we're that's the kind of question that we're always asking um and then yeah and then I'll and then I'll close the space and ah, you know just go about my day <laughs> thanks for watching throw me a yes in the comments if this has been useful for you and don't forget you can download those free samples of both my books that are in the links below and please don't hesitate to share this with your fellow plant shamanism travelers okay bye guys thanks